Hey everyone, this is CLZ AJ here again with a new video on CLZ Comics. Today I wanted to show you the improvements we made to the missing comics screen. Uh, and I'm go just going to take you around and show you the screen, see, show you how, how to get there and, and the different settings you can apply there. So first off, the missing comics screen uh, can be accessed from inside the series folder. So if I tap on The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 5 here, you can see I already have a couple of these and there's a link at the top that says find missing comics. So if you tap that, it'll open a missing comics screen and it will immediately uh, filter it on this series and just show you the missing comics from this series. Um, so let's get to the, uh, to the settings. Uh, so I can uh, tap this button here, which is a pencil icon and it shows me the settings. So these are probably easy to understand. The show variants button will show you all variants that you are missing. As you can see in the background, that's a lot for, for this Spider-Man because there are so many variants uh, uh, per issue. You can set it to show uh, uh, issues that are on order, which I've currently turned on. And right here you can see that I have issues 73 and 72 and 66 on order and it shows me that uh, by showing a, a little uh, asterisk star icon next to the number. Now I can also say let's not show the on order comics and that will remove them from the uh, from the list of missing comics. I'm just gonna keep it on because uh, I like seeing that. I can also set it to show unreleased comics because you know there are probably issues that, that will still come out in the future and this screen uh, doesn't show them if this is turned off, but if I turn it on, it will show me those uh, uh, issues that will still come out in the future. And right here, you can see a change in the background. So uh, it says 78 and then 79 through 87 are issues that will that are that, is, that still have to come out. It also has an option to compact this list. This will grab the missing comics and if they are uh, in a sequence, it will put them together. So in my example, again, you can see this in the background. You see it uh, happening live. You see 74 to 78 uh, are comics that uh, are issues that I'm missing. If I switch off compact list, it will just show you 74, 75, 76, etc. This uh, is the ascending and descending button. So tap it, you see what happens. It goes from eight to 78. And descending it will go from 78 to 8. So those are all those settings. You can just set it up uh, exactly the way you, you'd you like to see it in your missing comics screen. So the next thing you may want to check out is the uh, uh, open in ad comics screen. This will open the ad screen and it will immediately search for that particular series so you can uh, add comics from that. I'm going back. And it also has this hide button, which will allow you to hide this uh, this series this series from the missing comic screen. I'm gonna choose no for now because I want to keep it in there. So um, I'm just gonna go back to the main screen here and back to my series list. I wanted to show you another way to get into this missing comic screen, which will get you uh, all your missing uh, missing issues. So tap the menu button, top left, and you'll find missing comics here under tools. Just tap it. And this will show you all your missing comics. And it will show you how many you're missing per series. And you can tap a series to open it up and you see which ones are missing. So this is quite, uh, quite a, a longer list. You can search in it as well. Um, and of course the settings that you have uh, will allow you to you know change those settings for all the missing ser uh, missing issues uh, for every series that shows in here um, the last thing I wanted to show you on this was this button here right now it's sorting a through Z but I could also sort it by showing me uh, the series that I'm, I'm missing most of by tapping this you can see that I'm uh, and I miss 410 uh, Uncanny X-Men Volume 1 issues, which is quite a lot. So the list is very long. All right. 
Um, well, that's that's basically it for the missing comic screen. Should be pretty easy to use, I think. Well, if you have any questions, of course, just put them in the comments or uh, contact us through help.collectors.com. And oh, there's one more thing I, I forgot to show you. That's the um, that's the email uh, button top right. Now, I'm using this in the simulator, so for me it doesn't work. But if you tap on that email button, it will open your default email program on your on your phone, on your device, and it will give you basically give you a, a text, a flat text list that you can send to yourself and maybe uh, print out uh, and take with you to a comic con or uh, maybe to your local comic shop. So you can, you know, uh, with a pencil, old school, tick off which ones uh, uh, you're grabbing in uh, in the shop. That should be it. So now I didn't forget anything. Anyway, I hope this was informative for you. Uh, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.